Good morning and welcome to school today. We have five dresser uppers with us today. Our pretty, pretty princess of the faraway land. I am, of course, the cat in the hat. And then we have Miss Carlola, Miss Nasana. Ooh, a player from the Reds, Miss Lee. And then one smart cookie, Miss Hayden. <laughs> All right. Let's get our day started by standing for the pledge to the flag and remain standing to do the national anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming on the rocket's red glow, the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? Okay, so today is the 26th of September. So I think we're up to six costume people. Oops, I got my forgot my other glove. It wouldn't let my touch stone, my touch screen computer would not let me do it with my gloves on. So um, it is the 26th. We have six costume people. That means that we have had six days of 96% attendance. And remember, we even had one more. We had 97 because we had a hat day. Okay. So we're trying to get as many as we can in here for morning meeting. Let's see what we're having for lunch. We're having hamburgers and tater tots and cucumber sticks and diced pears. Let's see who's celebrating a birthday today on the 26th. Today is Nolan Smoot's birthday. Happy birthday, Nolan. Come see me for a birthday treat. Um, and it is also Miss Baker in fifth grade's birthday. And it is Miss Seekman's birthday today as well. All right, our attendance on Friday was not where we needed to be to be something doing something fun. It was 94.9. Um, so even if I round that up, that's just 95. That's great, but remember we want to hit 96 to have a costume, 97 to do a fun activity that we all do, and 98 for a, a student costume day. Fifth grade had our best attendance, uh, so they will be the only class dismissed first. Everybody just to stay in your rooms. And then um, last year's winner, or last week's winner, was third grade. They had the best attendance all week last week. They get five extra minutes of recess. And congratulations to Miss Lee's class. Uh, they will also get a certificate for five extra minutes of recess. These classes had perfect attendance on Friday. Not quite as many as Thursday. Fan and Baker, Helton, Johns, and Lee. Okay, our uh, manner of the week is if you hurt somebody, say you're sorry, even if it's accidental. So even if you like bump into somebody and they say, ow, you say, oh, I'm sorry. Because even if you didn't mean to do it, say that you are sorry. All right, the lost and found's kind of piling up out there, guys. Please be sure that you are looking for that. And also a quick reminder, I thought we'd kind of gotten past this, but boys and students do not need to be on the stage. There's a ton of stuff up there, some things that can break and some things that are ready to break that could hurt you, so no one should be on the stage anytime unless the teacher's right there with you. Okay, I do have a report from our fundraiser. We made $14,065. That is fabulous. A little short of the $15,000 goal that we had set for ourselves, um, but we are super proud of that, and we'll let you know when the celebration assembly is going to be. We had planned for it to be Thursday, but when they um, extended our... Sorry, my alarm's going to go off because I reminded myself to bring something, and it's going to make a big giant noise. Sorry. Ah! 
And it, it's just telling me it's getting ready to do it. And so I'm just like, oh my goodness, there it goes. Okay, fixed it. Yay. No? Yay. Good, it's fixed. Um, so anyway, it will be um, sometime in October. They wanted to make sure that they could get all of the prizes. And when they gave us the extra days, it kind of threw that off a little bit as well. So. All right, congratulations to Ms. Houston's class. They have completed their third red oak chart. And then I have these red oak role models for today. Um, Roman, Alex, and Elia, 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 sorry. This is from Ms. Hall. He, they, have figured, they have taught us something really cool with the translator app on our uh, Google, and maybe all the grown-ups know it, but boy, Ms. Hall and I did not know it, and they're gonna record a video for us for that as well. Raylan Wells, Ms. Shipley's class, did a great job at whisper reading while we were doing silent reading. Oksana Kanyeko from Ms. Grant included everyone. Caleb Ely in Ms. Shipley's room was a model student on Friday. He answered questions fully in his writing journal. Connor Reed doubled his I Ready goal this week in math and reading and leveled up. Lachlan Darnell worked hard and went up a whole reading level. Whoa, that's pretty impressive. Um, Jacob Sweetek, um, super quiet in the hall and bathroom. Miss Lee's whole class all said beautifully the Red Oak song, sang it, um, sang it beautifully and wanted to stand to show respect for our school. I love that, Miss Lee's class. Thank you. Cruz Valle in Miss Watkins class showed a great example. And Sabrina Fender in Miss Watkins class included everyone, take, took turns and played fairly. And then Killian from Miss Lee kept the room clean and swept the floors. Thanks, Killian. That helps our custodians a whole, whole lot. All right, I got some jokes for today. Uh, this, these two are some space jokes from Roman. Where do, what, let's see, wait, da, da, da. oh, when do astronauts eat pizza? They eat it at launch time. Hmm. How do you put a baby to sleep in space? You have to rock it. <laughs> And then here's a couple from Audra Nassano. Why, oh my goodness, why is it dangerous to do math in the jungle? Because if you add four plus four, you get eight. <laughs> of course, eaten would be the right one, but eight, yes. Why shouldn't you write with a broken pencil? Well, that's pointless. Uh, what do you call some fake noodles? An impasta. <laughs> and what did the dog say when it sat on sandpaper? Ruff. Okay, I've just got some more for tomorrow for me as well. Let's say the Red Oak expectations with me. Respect ourselves, others, and our place. Expect to learn. Do our best. Own our behavior. Always treat others the way you want to be treated and know we can. It is so important to me that you are kind to one another, that you keep your hands and your feet to yourselves, and that you are always silent in the bathrooms and the hallways. And guys, please remember, if you put something in the lost and found, hang it up, okay? Let's do that too. All right, have a fabulous day. Do your work well, especially that already. Make sure you're doing your best work on that. Um, and then I'll see you guys in the morning. Love you guys.